Right, now then my friends, we're in Benidorm once more and uh, I'm, having a bit of a, I'm having a bit of a mooch around, uh, as Jeff Carter would say, uh, because I'm walking off that massive, huge, greedy man's breakfast that I had at Yorkshire Pride in the last episode. Well, that, that might have been yesterday to you, my friends, but it was only a few hours ago for me. So I've been wandering, wandering around trying to walk it off before we go for their huge, immense Sunday roast. Now, I'm going for it today because it is Sunday. Now they do this Sunday roast every day of the week, all day, every day, uh, but they're closed until February now from today. And apparently it's the best Sunday roast on, uh, in Benidorm, and I said on the island, but I'm thinking, I think I'm back in Tenerife, um, but it's the best Sunday roast in Benidorm, my friends. Uh, and everybody's told me that. Lucy told me that as well, uh, the Benidorm enthusiast. Uh, you can get her link down below, by the way. Um, if, you, uh, if you love Benidorm and you don't know who she is, uh, then, you, and then where have you been? Because I mean, she is the aficionado for Benidorm. Uh, if you want to see all about Benidorm, click the link in the description down below and head over and subscribe to her channel because she's fantastic. Um, but anyway, today you are here for the Sunday roast. That's why I'm here. We're going to mark it out of 10. They do a selection of different meats. I think you can have, I'll, I'll tell you when I get there, but it's chicken, you can have the beef, you can have pork, whatever. We'll go through it. Can, I'm going to have all of them. I'm going to have the huge, huge meal. Uh, and then we're going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. Uh, we're going to wander around a little bit, have a look around and a little mooch around. I'll show you the sights. Um, it is January when I'm filming this, uh, so it is a lot quieter than normal. Uh, I would say there's about 70% of places that I think anyway are just closed at the moment for the holidays, little signing, but I kind of like it. Um, I had a little wander around as well over into the old town where we're going to do some tapas in a later episode and that was heaving so uh, it's just basically the holiday part that's that's sort of like closed down a little bit, but there's still places open, don't get me wrong. Uh, but if you want to come over and you are coming over, head over to the old town because it was bustling last night. Anyway, uh, if you're new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, because it's the longest intro in the world, let's go. There you go, El Messon, El Messon. You get Phil and Janice in there from Wolverhampton. Come on, love, let's go in here. Let's get some, uh, let's go local, you know, just at the end of the strip. I'm kidding, don't have a go at me, don't hate me. Come on, onwards, I'm only having a laugh. And before you start typing, I like Wolverhampton. You've got some good restaurants and some good chips there. So uh, there we go. Nothing against Wolverhampton. I like it. Right, let's have a little wander around and let's see what we can find before we go for this uh, Sunday roast. I'm trying to walk off the calories from that breakfast. It was immense. It was mad, that was. It was huge. 
Tower Lounge. Tower Lounge. I, I am in Blackpool. Has somebody transported me to Blackpool? Tower Lounge. Hey, they've got some good acts on here. Closed for the holidays though, so uh, if you know when they're back open again, pop it in the comments section down below. But listen, it looks a nice little place that does, to be honest. Come out then, you can have a pizza next door. Actually, the pizzas look really good. Pizzas look good in here. They look good. Thank you. Excellent. Just look at this. Yeah, I, don't, I think not nice. Uh, it's got a nice crispy crust on that. Look at that. So that's winners behind me there, where um, Lucy works from uh, the Benidorm enthusiast, who's got her own channel. Uh, and I've been in there. I've been here two nights now, and I've been in there each night because I have to say it's absolutely fantastic in there. I love it in there. It's great music. You can sit at the bar. It's friendly. You'll see Lucy in there as well on an evening. Um, and they've also got really, really fast internet, which is what I like. So uh, I've been in there pretty most of the time, and I think I think that's going to be where it's, you find your local, don't you, when you come on holiday, and you like we, and then you then you hit it every night because you're like, oh, we like it there. Well, that for me, I think that's my local now when I'm uh, when I'm in Benidorm. I like it. It's, what a great bar. That's my favourite bar on an evening. Right, come on, onwards, my friends. Oh, I tell you what, I don't mind it now at the moment. It's actually, it's now two in the afternoon and it's 17 degrees. So for me, it's not raining. I've literally just rang back home. Um, it's cold there and it's raining there. So I think, you know what? It's all right, it's not bad. I'll take this weather. It's better than walking around sweating isn't it, and stuff and uh, it's not as mad, it's not as crazy. Although I, I will say, as I said in the old town where all the tapas alley is, it was absolute madness there last night. It was crazy. But it's obviously a little bit quieter here because it's, uh, it's holiday season. But as I say, I don't mind it. Right, let's take a little wander around my friends. Hey, so I was in McDonald's yesterday, right, trying to upload a video, and uh, I was just having a coffee there, I wasn't having a McDonald's. Um, although I did have one last night on the way home, I have to say, because it was really late. Um, and there was a couple of Americans in there, and uh, I had to laugh. But then I thought, well, really, I'm the same, but like English, because I heard him and I overheard this, and he went, uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're done a McDonald's today, and then tomorrow, bad American accent, by the way. Um, so then tomorrow we're gonna do KFC, and then maybe the day after we could go Burger King. And I thought, Right, okay then, yeah, really going local, aren't you? And then I thought, now I'm being Phil and Janice, I'm going to eat local. And, but they're only doing what I do, fish and chips, full English breakfasts, Sunday roasts, but it just made me giggle. Anyway, come on, onwards, you've got to laugh, haven't you? I mean, if you, if you can't laugh these days, it's very quiet, got chaplains here, look. Now don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. It's down there, it's free, doesn't cost you a penny. Lots and lots of content coming your way. Come on, onwards. Now you can tell all the locals because they've all got coats on, wrapped up, scarves on, hats on. I mean, you won't see any locals around here, I wouldn't have thought, but you know, when you get out of this uh, British part, you'll see all the locals wrapped up, coats on. We just got like a little light fleece on, you know, one of these fleeces that you can get in a merch store. Come on, I think I've lost the plot today. I'm trying to walk that breakfast off that I had on earlier on. Now, I know I've gone past Yorkshire Pride, but I'm just wandering around, we're having a look, because I've always said this channel it isn't just about the food, it's about having a wander around, meeting people, having a chat, talking to my friends, you're my friends out there, 
uh, and, and you will know that if you're a regular viewer of the channel it's all about that it's not just about the food because you get some people going oh the food's at 23 minutes 39 or whatever but it's you're all right thank you very much thank you very much thank you there you go viewer of the channel um and that's what it see that's what it's about that's what it's about and that's what i love i've met so many people that watch the channel here and go hi mike master and i love it I, that is what it's about it's not just about the food it's about meeting people having a bit of fun and putting a smile on your face just gonna have a wander around Do you know what? Right. I've had... I was watching you yesterday. You were watching me? <laughs> yeah. You're watching yourself now, you're oh, on it. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Do you uh, want to say hello? No, so, not say really. hello off camera. Hello off camera. There he is. I'll <laughs> see you guys in a minute. Somebody, I'll see yeah, you in I'll a minute. Your face and that, you there we go. Met somebody else again. That's what I love about this channel. See, I told you, it's not just about the food, it's about meeting people and all my friends out there who watch the channel. Right, come on, onwards, my friends. few cabaret acts on there. Controversial. Definitely controversial. Onwards. <laughs> Right, let's have a wander around here because everybody keeps telling me that Uncle Ped's is the place to go as well. And I went in there the other morning for a coffee and it is really good. And I'll tell you why, because on a morning uh, in before the afternoon, uh, obviously the morning is before the afternoon, uh, you can tell this isn't scripted, uh, <laughs> and it catches the sun and it's a real sun trap and uh, it's beautiful. Look at the guy over there in the hat. Welcome to Mallorca. Hey! That's <laughs> How you doing? I love you just where you... <laughs> Hello Mansfield, <laughs> Kirk, me Sutton. A work from? Up. Yes, from the one armed bandit, still here singing. You still here? How long have you been here for? 20 years. 20 years. I'm retired here. You're retired here. There you go, come and see this guy. I saw you from the coach the other day actually. See you later. Nice to meet you. Come and see him. Are you there every day? He's there every day. There we go. Cheers. Now then, I've just met a couple of other people as well. I tell you what, it's, it's fantastic meeting people and seeing where they're from. And my first question always is, where are you from? Guy from Leeds back there. I meet Leeds people everywhere. Jamie, if you're watching, comment on the video down below. Here we go. Uncle Ped's, a sun trap in the morning. All right, all right, all right. Right little sun trap that there in there. Now then, I'm told, I think this is closed, but I'm told that this, in fact, both of these here actually, um, country ribs, I'm told that this is excellent. And then also somebody told me about Black Pearl that's next door as well. Uh, and there's a curry house down here as well. Let's take a look, come on. Right. Here we go, curry house. How much is curry on here? Let's have a look. You know what I'm gonna choose if I add it? Chicken tikka masala, of course. Let's have a look at the menu, see, see what the prices are like. You tell me in the comment section down below. Either tikka masala or maybe dansak. We all love a love a bit of dansak, don't we? As uh, as our Tenerife viewers will know. Come on, onwards. <laughs> now 
there you go, Aussie Bar, and I'll be there in February. I'm heading over, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Benny Dorn one minute, Australia the next. Not much difference. I'm kidding. You've got to see the good in everything. I'm really enjoying this uh, mooch around. I like it. Right, let's head off for this uh, Sunday roast. I think I've worked up an appetite now. Let's get back to Yorkshire Pride. Whew. Can't wait. I think I'm going to have all the meats. Have them all. Go big or go home. Right, here we are. We finally made it Yorkshire Pride, where we're going to go and try out their Sunday roast. I'm going to have all the four meats. I'm going to have the beef, the chicken, and the pork, and the lamb. I'm just going to go for it all. Uh, and we're going to mark it out of 10. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark it out of 10 uh, on looks alone and also price as well. Um, it's going to be good value for money. Everything around here at the moment seems to be great value. Don't forget, I know you're going to say it's like being in Little Britain, but it is in Euros because we are in Spain, my friends, in Benidorm. So, Benidorm, I'm not re-recording, we're going to head in, head in, that's before I've had a drink. Let's get in there and uh, mark it out of 10. It looks very, very busy in there, by the way. So, I think I'll just show you the menu, show you the food, and then we'll uh, come outside and we'll, uh, we'll go through it after. Let's get in there. Oh, right, well, it's really, really busy in here, my friends, so uh, it's going to be a quick one. I'm just going to have to put music over this, and don't forget, we're marking it out of town. I'm going for the traditional Sunday lunch, but I'm having every meat on it. I'm going for the beef, the pork, the lamb, and the chicken, uh, so all four meats uh, served with Yorkshire pudding. I've got extra gravy as well, uh, and I'm having a pint of John Smith's, because um, I think that's... Uh, was it Tetley? John Smith? No, I think it's John Smith I'm having. Is John Smith from Yorkshire? You can have Yorkshire, haven't you? You have had Yorkshire, Yorkshire tea this morning. Keep it Yorkshire. It is Yorkshire pride. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this, my friends. Don't forget, we're marking it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 on looks, presentation, and also the price. As I say, very, very busy in and out. It's packed. Uh, so I'll show you the food and we'll mark it outside. See you guys in a minute. Right, well, this looks absolutely fantastic, my friends. As I say, it's really loud in here. We've got Leeds United playing uh, on the TV there. Uh, I've got John Smith's, even though it says a Tetley's on the glass, uh, but it, oh, I'll tell you what, it's smooth. Almost as smooth as me. Just kidding. Uh, anyway, we've got the, uh, the Sunday roast in. It looks fantastic. Yorkshire on there, extra gravy. Got the cabbage, got the carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, roast, roast potatoes, stuffing potato and then you have your four meats on there so before we go any further take a closer look my friends tell you that looks superb uh, as I say really loud in here so I think the best thing is uh, I'll eat this and then we'll mark it out of 10 and go through it outside but it looks incredible what more do you want I'll see you guys outside but don't go anywhere I'll get some close-ups and uh, cutting into the potatoes you can see what they look like on the inside as well see you guys in a minute
right, I'll tell you what, I don't know whether you can hear me because um, Leeds United are playing Cardiff City. Cardiff's just scored, Leeds losing 1-0 uh, uh, and I'm in a Yorkshire pub. Uh, so I want to eat the rest of this uh, and then I'll see you guys outside. Dare I say it? Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Dare not say anything other. I'll see you outside. Right, let's wrap this up. Uh, it's very quiet around here, isn't it? It is a Sunday. Um, it does get a little bit busier at night, but don't forget it's a January, but I can tell you what, I can imagine, and I've not been here before, uh, that in summer this place is bouncing. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll have to come back in summer and see how it is. Right, let's get down to business. Um, when I left, by the way, Leeds were losing 2-0 to Cardiff City. Uh, so they're obviously not the, uh, the pride of Yorkshire. Controversial. I don't start. It's just I'm just kidding, you Leeds United supporters. Um, anyway, let's get down to business. Uh, the Sunday roast, absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, I had all the four meats there, uh, I had a, uh, a pint as well and uh, it came to 15.50, they didn't give me an itemised receipt, they only gave me my um, credit card receipt. So it's 15.50, that included my drink, my pint, uh, four meats, extra gravy uh, that I had as well. Um, everything was cooked to perfection to be honest, um, I can't see anything wrong with it. The meats were fantastic, proper meat, uh, the veg was cooked perfectly, not too, not overdone, not underdone, just actually right on it, that was it. We were right on it, perfect. Um, what else, stuffing, Yorkshire pudding, the only controversial thing I would say is, what about, they now, you'd think that this works, but putting the gravy in the Yorkshire pudding kind of makes it lose its resistance after a while, doesn't it? Um, but, I, I mean, that's just me being picky. Uh, I, I kind of liked it actually, especially when you cut into it and then all the gravy comes out. Um, it, I'm going to give it a 10 again because w where are you going to get a Sunday roast like that with all with a great quality meats like that um, for that price uh, in, in Benidorm? And don't forget that's euros, my friends. So uh, that'll be what? £12 odd, would it? Am I right? 12 12 quid, is it? You'd have to work that. Let me know in the comment section down below. For me, it's a 10. I mean, no wonder the Pride of Yorkshire. Uh, it's spot on. I'd highly recommend it. That's uh, Yorkshire Pride 1. I think they've got three different places in Benidorm. Uh, but uh, no, fantastic. Loved it. Uh, head over and uh, take a visit to them when you're in town. Uh, but I think they close now until February. Uh, I put it on the... I actually filmed the sign on the breakfast one. So when they're back again in February nip in there and tell me what you think or maybe you've already been let me know in the comments section down below if you're new to the channel by the way please do it the thumbs up if you like the video also if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye